In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how to calculate the square root of a square number by long division method. We have a number here 961 and yes, it's a square number. You have to calculate the square root of this number. So first put this horizontal line like this and then on the vertical line long, like this and then on the horizontal line. Now starting from the ones place and that is from the rightmost digit, start making pairs. So 1 and 6 is first pair, put a bar over this. Now we have only one digit, so we cannot make another pair, but it still you'll place a bar over 9. Okay, now since we have two bars here, right, it means that the total number of digits in your square root will be 2. Now if you're wondering how, then the number of bars tell you that what will be the count of number of digits in the square root. And we have discussed this in our previous video. Uh, the video link to the tutorial, that tutorial you can find in the description box below. Okay, so one thing is clear that your square root will have two number of digits. Now, think of a number here whose square is either equal to this nine or less than nine. So the first number that will come to your mind is three. Right? So now 3 times 3 is actually what? Let me, I need some space here actually. Okay. So 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract it, you get 0. Okay. Now, what's the twice of 3? Is 6 okay so next step is always take the twice of this quotient write it here and put a blank space here and I'll tell you why why we do this put a blank space here then write this pair write this pair 6 1 here okay now write this 6 and this blank space here think of a digit that you can put here next to 6 and then if you multiply this number with the same digit and such that that is either equal to this one or less than this one, right? If it is a, if it is a square number, then here you'll get the equal number. Like in this case, if we put one here and if you multiply this, this with the same digit one, you're going to get 61. So if you put one here and then put one, you're getting actually 61. When you subtract it, you get zero, right? So what is your square root in this case? The quotient is the square root. 31 is the square root. We have some more examples. So if there's any confusion, it will go away. 1024, right? So first this horizontal line, this vertical line, and this another vertical horizontal line, Okay, make pairs 4 and 2, 0 and 1. Okay, now think of that number here whose square is either equal to this one or less than this one. Clearly, you cannot have a square that is equal to 10. So, 3 here, 3 times 3 here, you get 9. If you subtract it, you get 1. Now 2 times 3 is 6, right? Put a blank space here. Write this 2 and 4 here. Now you have 124. What digit can we put here such that you get a new number and when you multiply this new number with the same digit, you either get equal to this number if that is a square number or less than that. So if that is not a square number. so here we have we already know that 1024 is a square number okay so clearly what number can we put here if you put 2 here and you multiply the same number number with 2 you'll get 4 and 124 so write 2 here and the same number digit here you'll get 124 now we know that this is a square number therefore you'll get 0 as a remainder Right? So in this case, 
32 is the square root of 1024. In this case, 529. Yes, 529 is a square number. Let's find out the square root of this number. A horizontal line, then a vertical line, then another vertical is horizontal line. Make pairs, put a bar. Now clearly we have two bars. It means that your square number, sorry, your square root will have total number of digits it will have will be two. So think of that number here, that number whose square is either equal to or less than this one. Clearly you can have, you'll have two here and two times two is four. You get one here. Two times two is four. Put a blank space here. Write this two nine here. Right now, four and this blank space. Think of that digit when you put here, you get a new number that is 40 something. And then when you multiply this new number with the same digit, you get a number equal to this one. If that is a square number, yes, it's a square number. So you'll get equal number or less than that one, like you do in a normal division. So think of that number. If you think of that number, then that number is actually three, right? So three times three is nine, three times four is 129. So you write three here, you write three here, and then you get 129. You subtract it, you get zero as a remainder. Therefore, 23 is the square root of this number 529. And since, again, you can see you have two digits here and that we estimated from counting the number of bars. Last number. Now we don't know whether it is a square number or not. We don't know whether it's a square number or not. So you'll apply the same method. You'll be asked whether it's a square number or not. Next question. If it is a square number, then what's the square root? Okay. So let's put the horizontal line and then this vertical line. Right. Then this line. This bar from starting from the rightmost digit, you make start making pair and put a bar, and you have another bar on over this one. It means that your square root will have two total number of digits, it will have is two. That is one and two bars, right? Now, think of that number that you can write here, whose square is either less than or equal to this one, 56. Clearly, seven times seven is 49. When you subtract it, you get seven here, right? Now, two times seven is 14, right? Put a blank space here, write this zero seven here. That is the pair one. Now you have 707. Write 14 here. In this case, we don't know whether it's a square number or not, whether this one is a square number or not. So think of that digit when you put here, you get a new number. And when you multiply this new number with the same digit, you get either number equal to this one, if it is a square number or less than that number, if it is not a square number, like we do in normal division. So if we put here two, then you'll get 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, and that is 2. So, no, it's not a right thing to do. If you put 3 here, you get 9, 3, 4, 12, and 3, 1, 3, 4, 2, 9. No, still you can increase the digit here. If you increase the value of digit here, let's put 4 here. 4 times 4 is 16 and 4 times 4 is 16 and then 5, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 is 16, sorry, it should be 17, 4 times 1 is 4 and 5. So we have 576. It means that it can go, if you can we put here 5 here. 144 times, sorry, 145 times 5, 5 times 5 is 25 to 5, 4, 20. No, your number will be greater. So you'll have to go with 4 only. 
So write 4 here, multiply this with 4 and you get 576. 576. Subtract it, you get 1 and you get 3 and then you get 131. Now since your remainder is not equal to 0, your remainder is not equal to 0, therefore this is not a square number. It's not a square number. Okay, if it, is, if it is not a square number, therefore there is no question of getting a square root. But if someone asks you that what can we do with this number or what number can we subtract from this number in order to make this number a square number, instantly you will think that hey, it's actually 131 is a remainder. If we subtract this 131 from this number, Clearly, we are not going to get this remainder then, right? And we'll, ha we'll have a square number. So if you subtract this 5607, 5607 from by 131, subtract 131 from this number, you'll get a number here, right? So that will be a square number. Why? In that case, you will not get this remainder. I'm leaving this for you. Check this, check the answer of this subtraction, then whatever we have discussed so far that is the method of finding the square root of a square number by long division method then check whether what we are saying that is correct or not the answer is yes that will be correct because here you'll get rid of this remainder